Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how we can create in Revit Trust Callum. I will show you how we can do in Revit without any extension. We will do only with existing Revit tools. So if you are ready, let's get started. And before I will draw anything in Revit, I will try to explain you what we're gonna do. As you can see here, we have the my uh, iPad and here the some sketching of my future trusses. You can see here the three part, like the main truss, the secondary and segment of the column. So what this means? First, we will draw the draw our main part of the trusses. So this is, will be our columns. After that, we will create the by the second family this will be the second trusses when we will finish the secondary trusses we will combine the secondary trusses with this by segments so we will get like some segments which we allow which we will include in our main main trusses by this way we will get we will get our column it will be looks like one union column so I hope this now understandable what we're gonna do. So before you will create some family, draw it somewhere, and just try to understand how you will do that. And only after that, try to create in Revit. And as always, we should create the new family. We're going to the family, going to the new, and here choose the column one. Or you can use the generic model if you want. So I recommend you use the column. Let's go to the column we will get a template for our column so we will create right now our columns so i go to an extension here i will use the my circle let's create the one circle other one and we need four because our trust column will be have the four uh, four columns so okay here is the my trust let me check here under the properties central mark visible because i want to see my uh, central mark and i will do it for all of my circles it will help me to connect it to right position okay we did it now we need a line so let's use the faster key ll it means a line al it's here a line let's align it to this line and center don't forget to connect it and this line to center to the, don't forget connected so now on the, this intersection our circle will be connected so if our column will be become more bigger our uh, circle will follow our column right now we need to create the dimension for all of them because we want to connect our dimension let's go to the annotate here you will find radial dimension and let's place our radial dimension everywhere as you can see it's uh, pretty different we want to create the same one for all of them select one of the dimension of radial dimension and go to buy the label as you can see here is the none let's uh, click on the create the parameter and let's create create parameter r so r it means radius i will leave like a type one doesn't matter for us for now and now it's 180 actually it is a bit big i will go to the properties family types as you can see it here and i will find my radius right here r so and as you can see it's right the radius let me i will place my radius a bit uh, higher this doesn't matter where it will be it's just only for useful and i will say here it will be 120 millimeters only let's say okay now it's 120 millimeters only now i will change my scale because i cannot see properly what's going on here to the one to the five and now i can see properly what's going on under the my lines and now i will select this radius and i will change the label to the r so how it's working right now let's say finish let's go to the elevation view let's go to the back view and as you can see we have the level actually we can select our column and just select and hold this joystick and connect to the level now our column working from the one level to the another level so you can con control your column by levels so this much easiest but our le level zero not connected why i know that because if i will select my this joystick uh, from the bottom and i'll change the position revit doesn't think anything like you trying to move locked position because it's not locked we should do that let's make it 
and lock it. Now if I will try to change position, Revit will say it cannot constrain this column. So we're done with the column, if you will go to the 3D you will see four columns. So now it's working perfectly. Now we should create only the trusses inside. For the trusses you should create the new family. Yes, it will be a bit harder again. Uh, we will go to the file, we will go create the new family. Let's find the new family and let's use generic model. Generic model for that, that part will be pretty enough. Generic model. Going to generic model and now we are ready to prepare this is generic template to the our work. To better understand what we're gonna do, I will show you it by hand drawing. So let me I will make it like this. And now I can draw easily and I will show you what we're gonna do. Actually we should go now, we have like four elevations. One elevation, another elevation and two more elevations as you know. So we have four elevations. We should create now, we should create four lines like one, two and three. So this is everything on the plan. So uh, we should create all these lines to just exactly see on this direction. So we will use this elevation to see to this direction because we have four parts of our of our column. So how it will be looks on the elevation. As you know, our column it's like one part of the column and second part of the column, right? And we should in the middle side create the um, trusses. So we should create triangles. So to create triangles, we will go, for example, on this elevation. So we are going to this elevation. This elevation orientate to this part here to easily understand. Here will be one column. Here will be another column. So it's here, as you can see. So this is, this is one, this is two. And we should create here the trusses. How it will be looks like? We will create triangle in the middle size. After that, we will just array it. So what does mean array? We will just copy it like this. Another one. And it will be go till the end. And as you understand, it will be looks like what we want. It will be looks like like this. So it will be truss. So this him we will follow up right now. As you can see, one thing we already done. This is elevation. Elevation, we already have the elevation, so we need create only the our reference lines. Reference lines is here, so let's do it. Just select one of reference line and create one of reference line. You can use actually not reference line, you can use reference plane if you want. So again, this is up to you. Let's use for this one reference plane. One, two, three and four. So we have four reference planes. Now we will use dimension. So dimension short key, this is uh, hotkey, I mean, this is D DI, so it's dimension. And now let's create um, equal distance. And now we also need the all of, all of the distance. Let's do the same here, one by one, equal distance and all distance. We don't need create anymore because uh, this uh, it's uh, the mirroring on this side and this one on this side. So we will make only a bit bigger our plane because it should be works uh, pretty smooth. Let me I will prepare it because uh, it's will help us if we want to change something later on. Uh, and one more here and here done. So we are prepare everything and now we can go. Let's I will close all the views. Only one I will leave here. Now let's go one by one to these views. Actually, we will start from uh, from the bottom side because we want to create our circle one. Uh, okay, how we can do that? Um, let me I will go to the create. Here I will find the sweep, and let's depict the path. Oh, not depict the path. I'm sorry. Sketch the path. We will sketch it. One this one connect, one this one connect, this one connect, that one connect. Don't you don't forget about the trim because you shouldn't leave these intersections. The trim done. Let's say okay. Now let's go to the edit profile. Now Revit automatically asking us which of the elevation we wanna use uh, to create our path. Let's use anyway any any. It doesn't matter. And let's uh, use the circle. 
I will draw it somewhere here. You know why? Because if I will select my circle, I will select the center mark visible, and now I can ex exactly place it where I want, like this. Okay, now I will select my uh, circle. I will uh, switch it on my radius dimension, and now I will create the new radius. Radius dimension main. So this is mean again. This uh, understandable for me. You can write all the name like radius dimension by on or radius dimension bottom up to you. And this parameter will be uh, let's leave it instance. Okay, the 135 it's totally uh, a lot. Let's make it like 50. It will be pretty enough for me. And let's say okay. Let's say okay again. And if I will go to the 3D, you will see I have my have my mm, main bottom thing so the main, main bottom truss i mean so if we are on the left view let's start from the left view we should create the triangle actually we no need create hole to triangle we need create only one i will go to the create or you can go to the create for example or you can go to the um any one of you want and now we'll go to create use the reference plane let's create the reference plane we need only dimension dimension of that dimension will be let's say the static one dimension will be 800 millimeter so it will be like this okay and let me i will change the dimension of that because actually as you can see it's also not working for us because we need create the label w and label l Okay, and let's making the same as we can see here. Let's check it out. 600 by 600, I think. Yeah, 600 by 600. Let me I will go back to the reference line. And let's make it 600 by 600. Now, as you can see, it's exactly the same dimension. But anyway, we can change it if you want. Let's go to the left. And now we can... Now we should draw draw our uh, reference plane, but before we will do that, you should go to the reference plane, yeah, reference level. Go to the create, use the set, and for example, pick the plane, because we want to draw exactly on this plane. Select on that, and Revit asking us which of the elevation view we want to use. For example, left view. Let's say OK. Now, go to the reference line, draw from the one intersection to the another one, Use the align key, connect it, and and don't forget lock it, one by one. Yeah, it's pretty uh, long story, but when you will done, as you can see, it's following, and if you will go to the 3D, it's exactly on the side. Now go to begin to the reference level, create, set the plane, pick the plane, okay, pick this plane, go to the back. And this story you should continue. Again, pick the line, this intersection to that one, a line, and do pretty, pretty the same thing. You now know what you should do. So I'm just connecting one by one. If you uh, think you will mistaken, you can uh, hide it like this. You can hide it. It's temporary height. So. It just uh, to to be sure everything you're doing right. Going to depict the plane, two more. You can hide it as I said again already. Go to the reference plane. Okay, align one by one, align, align, and here align, and here align. Go back to the reference line and one more set pick the plane this plane view and draw it the line from this one to this one and again a line one two three and four done now you can say and reset everything if you will go to the 3d let's go to the 3d you will see the kind of this thing uh, 
Okay, here I did, uh, as you can see, mistake. Maybe here I should make the difference on the different side. Yeah, on the different side. Or maybe this one I should make on the different side. Let me, I will do this one on the different side. Let's see which this side is here. It's on the other side. We should make it. It's fast to change. Let me, I will do everything properly. Yeah, it should go on this side. Let me, I will draw it. Align. How I understand, uh, do I uh, align right uh, dot or no? Because if it's not locked, it means it's my new line. Okay, let me go now to the 3D and now everything seems okay. So we're done with that, as you can see. If I will change, uh, if I will go to the any left position, if I will change the height, it's everything following, as you can see. Let me do like that. And as you can see, all of them following. So what we're gonna do now, just create, just sweep, just select the pick, the pick the path, let's say OK, and draw one by one, like the this radius, select of that, now annotation, radius, let me, I will call, the, this is just a radius, not will some special name, just a radius, let me, I will do this radius just a uh, 100, maybe 25 millimeter, only 25 millimeter. Oh, it's 250, why? I say 25. Radius, radius, 25 millimeter. Okay, let's say okay. And one more time, okay. And as you can see, we get the first truss. So let me, I will continue the same thing for the another one. So as you can see, we're done with that. Uh, let me I will go to the elevation view, uh, to some elevation view, and let me I will back it to the 800 millimeter only. So let me I will go back to the 3D. I will close all the views, and as you can see, we get our trace. Now we can uh, load it inside to the our main project. So it's here. Let me I will load it somewhere here, as you can see. And now if I will go to the some plane. I need just align it. Let me I will align it. As you can see, we have here the, the middle line, and here we have here the another middle line. Let me I will connect everything. Now I will go to the game back to the 3D, and as you can see, here is our dress. <laughs> yeah, it's really simple how to can create it. Now we need only the one thing. Now we need select on on one of them, and we just should array it. Let me I will array it. On the 800 millimeters, as you remember. Okay, and as you can see, we get here a number. Let's say six. This number we can make unique by label. Let's add the parameter and let's say the number number of trusses. Truss number of truss. Let's say okay. Let me go to the 3D, and as you can see, here is the truss column. As you can see, one it's not for us, so we now should create uh, some simple formula. I think you can calculate it. Um, let me, I will check the, the height of that. As you can see, I cannot see the height of this column. As you can see, it's not any height. How we can get the height? Let's go to the back view, and as you can see, we have the upper reference level, and it's 4 meter. Now we need only the dimension. Let's find dimension, dimension from this side to this side, select this dimension, go to the create the parameter, say this is uh, height, and as you can see it's automatically instance and reporting parameter, this is what I want. Let me go to the parameters, and as you can see we have that this is parameter, this is instance one, and we should make the truss also the instance parameter, let me I will make it the instance parameter, now we can calculate it. Uh, we know that our mm, number of the truss, it's, uh, each truss is 800 millimeter. So, and we know we have 4 meter. So, we should, what we should do? We should, the height of the report, divide by 800 millimeter. Let me, I will do another one. And as you can see, here is the 5. Let's apply it, and as you can see, it's working. As you can see, I did some mistake. Uh, you should connect, don't forget, connect the first uh, of our truss. And now, whatever you will change your dimension, you will see your column will follow it 
and if we will go even to the 3D, it will be working. For example, let's say we want to change our dimension to the 1200 by 1200 and as you can see, it's ok, and as you can see it automatically changing. So our, our trust is working and now we can export to the your project. Of course this is not an analytical model, this is only for the um, like column for the architecture part, but anyway this is much better than nothing. This is it and uh, the, as always you will find this column, you can download it or you will find it uh, link below the video, you become the patron of the, my YouTube channel, it will help me to share with you with more knowledge and with the more new features. Thank you guys and see you next time.